Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play .hack GU Volume 2. This is some type of artist. Last time, we went on a quest with LK to level up for the arena, and we didn't level up because... I don't know why. I don't know why they keep <laughs> giving us areas meant to level us up. I, I don't know if the game expects you not to defeat most enemies in an area whenever you go to it, but I don't know. Whatever. It was fine. We got to hang out with Alcade. Um, I also finished off those... Or, I didn't finish off them, but I, I did some more bike missions at the end of the last episode, and I got a new part, but it was weaker than we were already had. <laughs> so, oh well. Whatever. What's going on with email? What do we do next? Tell us, email. Tell us what to do next. <laughs> I really wish you can check your mail from your from in the game. It's so dumb. What do I do with it? What do I do with what? Oh, the cards? That's a forbidding question to ask a collector? I is it? I'd imagine you'd put them in a binder or something. Dear Haseo, thank you for your regular patronage of the world. This is to inform you that you can do the lucky animal, whatever. I know it's kind of late, but I thought you should tell everyone in Kanar that you're going to participate in the arena tournament. Let's go together, shall we? <laughs> Why go together? Are you like... <laughs> it sounds like something you do to like... Announce... Your relationship to like a group of friends. <laughs> Thanks for the greeting card! It made me feel like you recognized me as a friend. Thank you again and I'm looking forward to our continued adventures. Neat. Thanks, dude. I am too. I am too. I hope you don't fall off the face of the earth. I really don't. <laughs> oh, anything new in the forums? A couple of area words that I'm sure were just for leveling up. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Let's go to Canard and tell... Syllabus that he's no longer welcome as a member of our team, Haseo, for... <laughs> No. Oh, jeez. It's... <laughs> Syllabus. You're my bro and all. But you're a dude. And I like girls. And I'm now I'm gonna get a party full of girls. So, you're out of the tournament, man. <laughs> Take care of the at-home while I'm gone. <laughs> oh, man. What's he gonna do? How's he gonna do it? Why do we have to tell him with Adelie? That's so weird. I don't, I don't feel like Adelie had any, you know, decision in who was part of the tournament. Well, I guess she did, because she insisted that she, uh, she come. Oh my god. And you need to invite her in your party for this. Why? Why? Why couldn't she just be there at the at-home? Why do we need her in the party, too? It's, oh my god. It's like all the extra steps you need to, like, go through. It's about the whole canceling the emperor thing. Oh, does that affect all of us too? I'm sorry I didn't talk to you first. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it, Haseo. It's really no big deal. Oh, Syllabus. Besides, I've had plenty of being an emperor by now. I guess all three of them are technically emperor, even though Haseo is the only one that gets recognized. It was their team after all. Don't worry about a thing. I've experienced enough tournaments by now. Besides, you mean the one? Supporting new players at Canard is much more up my alley. They keep saying this, but we never actually see them. Did you really quit being the emperor? Like, it'd be interesting to see NPCs walking around the uh, at home here, and then like talking to them. Is that it? Is that like literally all that we were here for? Wow. Wow, I'm so glad I called somebody into my party, who didn't even participate in this conversation, by the way. To just have to log out and check my mail with something again. God damn it, man! It's so annoying! It's so freaking annoying! Why can't you just check your mail from in the game? It's like, oh my god, so obnoxious. And then, your your party is automatically disbanded too, so it's like, gotta invite Adelie again. Yeah, I guess it's time for the first match of Team Haseo. Couldn't we have run into them while going to sign up for the tournament and that cutscene just happened automatically? Like, why? That was such a weird thing. Why did we have to go and get Adelie and go to Kennard for that, like, one-minute 
cutscene where Sayo's like, Sorry, bro. It's okay, bro. <sighs> Five minutes into the video and I'm already fuming. <laughs> oh. Oh. So luckily, you don't have to do all of that, um... All of that Lewis preliminary rounds this time. You just go straight into the tournament. This tournament is not going to last as long as the one in Volume 1. It only takes up about half of the game. So you can look forward to that. Or be disappointed. Either way. I know a tor the tournament is like a big part of GU. So if you really like it. I guess you could be disappointed that it doesn't last quite as long. But honestly I kind of feel like preparing for the tournament rounds are is padding i am never that was terrible i am never gonna learn how to slide up to that counter like i used to do <laughs> Adelie, i'm sorry for always using you when it's convenient man he even admits it i'm sorry for forcing you to invite me onto your team <laughs> <laughs> She's so forward. What are you talking about, Asaya? She's totally straightforward. Would you quit with the screeching already? <laughs> Let's go. The screeching? What screeching, Haseo? What are you talking about? <laughs> the way LK just like folded her arms after that <laughs> it made me think she was gonna be like Why is everybody apologizing for something? Let's play a video game. Oh yeah, and before, in Volume 2, starting with Volume 2, when you go into an arena match, they'll um, they'll give you a strategy for it. I, I didn't really feel like that was necessary, but, I mean, GU is kind of hand-holdy in some areas. But Alcade, I thought you said that communication is important in that last episode. <laughs> so jealous. Sup, orange guy. The Eye of the Hurricane. So it's like the calm part you shouldn't be afraid of. <laughs> it's so weird when when two people of the same job class are there, they just like kind of do their idle poses in unison. No shit. Hi. <laughs> Nala. Nala's shadow looks like it has devil horns. Ah, <laughs> oh, could that foretell something in the future? I don't know. I've never played this game before. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not telling. Oh, were we asleep already? Yeah, like the most annoying thing about arena battle. Well, not even arena battles, but just facing off against other characters in general are the status ailments you get when you, like, attack someone. Like, they. Almost all the people in the arena usually have a good, um. A good grasp on. Having, uh status ailment counters on your, uh, on your, what am I trying to say? On your armor. Oh, man. Sorry, guys. I'm, I was a bit distracted. I can see, uh, 
Uh, the uh, the video quality is just kind of messing up again. I'm getting. I, I don't know why this happens so much. I just uh, I just stopped the previous audio and tried to fix it up as best I can before going on here. So anyway, yeah, those status um, counters they're good. I use them too sometimes, but um, it's always kind of hard to deal with um, other um, players fighting them because they almost always have something on them. And, like, the worst is, like, when it's something that just, like, prevents you from you moving, like, sleep or, uh, paralysis. I put paralysis on my, uh, dual swords. So, you know, that, that, for this game, that's one of my favorites. And then in the next game, it's gonna be charm. But, yeah, it's, it wasn't really too big of a deal for, for someone that was supposed to have, you know, won the tournament and faced off against Sirius last time. They were pretty easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could that be true? Perhaps he's got a girl he wants to protect. <laughs> or save. You know, remember Shino? We haven't talked about Shino in a long time. Like, I, I don't know. It's just... It still baffles me how many things that are brought up at the very beginning of Volume 1 to motivate Hisao just seem to be completely forgotten or just not talked about nearly enough. Like, as we keep on going, and Ida, like, takes a priority over every everything. Hmm. You know, when we fought before? Hmm? I thought you were just a one-man team who didn't care about anyone. To be, be fair, Haseo did say that exact same thing to Silipus and Adelie. <laughs> Even as Sayo doesn't believe it. Anyway, let's be sure to win the next fight too, okay? We'll win all the fights now that Alcade's here. Level up before the next CC Corp email arrives, all right? Oh, what are these back alley shenanigans? You members have also become aware of its existence. It's. What are you talking about, well, Ida? Perfect. Bordeaux. Haseo will be sure to come chasing after it. Without the slightest suspicion, I'll be waiting for it. Why can't we see Bordeaux's face? What's wrong? Your personal grudge is irrelevant. Remember. Your purpose is to defeat Sirius and bring it back to me. Don't you worry about it. You'll get just what you want. One thing, though. Haseo is mine. <laughs> I set my soul aflame. I'll make sure he pays dearly for it. He killed my character once. I will make sure he pays with his life. Scum is as scum does. Rude. Just you watch. I will have everything. I'm the one who will be chosen by Ida. Chosen by the world. Sakaki, like seriously, people are really gonna start thinking you're a bad guy if you keep talking like that. <laughs> oh, oh, we got goodies. More things to take up our inventory space that we probably won't be using. So we got something that reduces um, physical damage and magic damage by a little bit more than what we're used to. They take up two slots on your armor instead of one. We also have something to inflict seal on opponents. I've never really considered seal to be, like, that useful. I don't know. I, I guess it can be in the right situation. 
Like, I think it would be most useful if you were facing enemies that used magic a lot, but I don't know, it's just kind of like... Again, it, it's like a situational thing. It's not really something I would, um... You know, worry myself with. Uh, hi, Asao! G -g Good job at the- uh, I mean, uh, how are you? No, that's not it. Uh, uh, oh, right. Congratulations on winning your first match. Uh, b -b -b by the way, I was just looking at the quest shop and it looks like they have a new job extend quest. Y y you're really lucky to have a job quest show up now, aren't you? <laughs> so, so, if you'd like, Gasford and I would be glad to help you out. So, um, would you like to do the quest together? Uh, uh, I'll be waiting to hear from you. It's a yeah, like... What the hell, Syllabus? Are you being held at gunpoint or something? <laughs> Why are you stuttering in an email? <laughs> Why is he, like, typing the stuttering in the email? It doesn't make any sense. But, yeah, as promised, your uh, job extend quest is not going to take nearly as long to get to this time. We do get this fairly early, which is all well and good because I am really, really looking forward to being able to switch weapons in the middle of a battle just very seamlessly. It is definitely my favorite addition to Volume 2 and the rest of the series as a whole. So, hopefully in the next episode we'll take care of that. But, um, let's hear... A hidden character discovered. I came across an odd vital vista in a dungeon. When I tried talking to him, he said, Leave here immediately and kicked me out. Is this kind of some kind of hidden character or something? What exactly do you mean by an odd vital vista? I've never ran into a normal one myself. They've all been mad scientists or drag queens. <laughs> True. He looked like a cleric and called himself Holy Wizard of whatever. I forgot the something something part. Yeah, so I think this is going to be the first, um, the first of the Serenosis, or however you pronounce a quest. Although, I, I don't think it's him this time, because we don't fight him again for the post-game thing. We fight something completely different, but, um, yeah, anyway, sorry for the, uh, the weird video thing. Trying, I'm, I'm trying my best to, like, look at the footage more carefully before I start recording, and even though I'm doing it this time, it seems to just be slipping anyway, so, I don't know, I don't, I don't want to get to a point where I'm gonna have to watch the entire video and then commentate over it afterwards, I just feel like that's a huge waste of time for something that happens, you know, I guess it's becoming a little more frequent, but I don't know, whatever, I'll see you guys next time, okay, bye-bye.